Hi, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carly Red. You know, I'm from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I've had a lot. I have a question. Okay. Are you my man? Have we had sexual relations before? Is that what you're asking? <sighs> Monica Lewinsky, check this out. I'm just asking you, are you my man or not? Uh... It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. Love she lied. Uh... <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Put it out there. <laughs> oh, crazy moments on this show. And I'm sure you guys know, and I'm sure you guys been seeing it. And many more crazy moments to come. So if I had to choose my favorite moment, one of my favorite crazy moments would be after I saw it and I watched it, I was like, damn, I did that, is when uh, life supposedly proposed to me and I fell out because I couldn't believe that he did. Yeah, and the music that played behind the boom, boom. Yeah, that was my favorite moment. <laughs> oh, if I could get rid of one moment, it would be the Louis Prada Gucci moment. <laughs> Louis Prada Gucci, Louis Prada Gucci. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of that real quick. So now, let's sit back and watch some more moments from me over the years. Are you ready? I'm ready. Today is a big day for me. I'm finally meeting with Stevie J. I want him to know that working with me is not a waste of time. After going between his artist and his baby mother, I'm happy to finally meet with Stevie J himself. Yo, fellas, give me five minutes. I need five, man. Carly Red asked me to produce her the first time I met her, which was cool. Then she turns around and rats me out to Mimi. Not so cool. Now, what you working on? What you got? My management is cash money. And my thing is, I need a single. I didn't really want to work with Carly at first, but cash money, that changes the game. And I have a few friends that work over there. And I talked to them about Jocelyn and Carly doing the record together. And I believe it'll work out very well. No one knows who you are if you don't have that single. And my team won't move unless I have something to move with. They won't budge. Well, that's cool. Unless... Cause I got a team that move when I say move. But before we do, it's like you know, I just want to know what's up with me and you. Are we good? Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because you saying yeah, but it's like every time I get with you, it's like you telling this and you saying that, and you know, I just want to eliminate all the bull. Though. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying all of that other got to stop. I wish they would stop coming to me with the drama. I'm talking about me and you though Absolutely. right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, we got that. We got that understanding. Yeah. I'll do whatever it takes to get in the studio with Stevie. I just need to prove to my management that I can deliver. You need that hit record. I'm always said, like, CBJ can bring it. You know, I got that for you. I just want to see what you got. I never heard anything, I, you know. The world is your stage, and yeah. it's a beautiful one right there. Absolutely. Let me see what you got. Little working. performance. Yeah, let me see what you got. I didn't know I was going to be auditioning for Stevie J, but that's OK. I'm always ready. Not bad, not bad. Stevie tells me to come in and, you know, I see her on stage dancing. I'm like, what the hell is going on? She doesn't know how to dance. Get over it. Just be sexy if you don't know how to dance. What's up, Ma? What's going on? You know, she's let me hear music and just wanted to see how she rock. What's the meaning of that? Basically, you know, you and her hooking up doing a few songs together. Did you run that by me before this? Because I didn't, I didn't know anything about this. I'm just finding this out. I'm running it by you now. Why don't you have a seat? We just have a meeting. I'm okay. I like to stand up. You like cool. to stand up? Yeah. Just sit down, though. I mean, we all we all sitting in this meeting. It's like a sit down meeting. I'm confused at why I didn't know about this before it happened. 
just sit down. Let me tell you what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's a good business of me doing a song with a 40 year old that really is not doing what I'm doing. Where you coming at? I just explained to him my whole affiliation. So. See, see her management is cash money. Who is she? She's with them. Okay, well then she can be with them. They asked me if I can get a few songs with you guys together and see what it sound like. You know, suddenly so you willing to do that? No, no, I'm not willing to minute, do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What does what, what she do? I mean, she's a dancer, she's a singer. Okay, she's well, an entertainer. Well, I don't wow. need no background dancer. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need you to do this. No. I worked too hard to get to where I'm at to just do a song with her just because it's great business. What about me? What about my work? This is about a business. So you put your emotions to the That's side. That's the difference it's between me being in the music industry or, uh, for a long time because I understand the politics. Politically, it's a great move because I respect what it is that Cash Money brings to the table. Well, then y'all can go ahead. Why don't you go do a song with Nicki Minaj? Ain't she down with Cash Money? Why she got to do a song with me? Calm down, right? I need you to do this for me. What you want to tell me? I do a song with her because of you. One song, and that's all I'm doing. Cool. The only reason why I'm doing this song with you is because I respect him, and I'm loyal to him, and I trust him. I respect the fact that he's a producer, and he knows what he's doing. I know. I work with this man every day. We're going to keep it moving. I appreciate everything. I, I just want to get you on the studio. You know what I'm saying? It's not for her, trust me, because I don't like it. It's for us. It's only for you. didn't go back to the hotel and curse life out because I knew that those rumors about him being married, he would totally deny it and he would just be like, oh, you're crazy. Hey, so I waited till he left out this morning and I went straight to the chick's social media account. Let me sit over here. Okay. And when I check, all I find out is definitely they're married, life is married. I have some to get across my chest. You know, we can skip all the formalities. Let's go ahead and just what the f*** didn't her? You know, I investigate everything. This chick in Germany, she's saying that y'all married. Did she post something and say you was married? Yeah, she put married, question mark, no better for life than Carly. She said married, question mark, no. Period, period, period. Better for life than Kari, question mark, yes. No. Better for I life didn't read than it that Carly. Way. I read it no better what? than Carly. Yo, I mean, I saw the blogs, you know, I was waiting on a homie Kylie to say, you know, something about it. But she ain't say nothing, so I was like, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing until she say something. That seems like that's how we plan it these days anyway, you know, keeping secrets from each other. Skip all of that, man. I wanna say, you know, before you continue, I heard about what's, what's the homie name that got the record label or whatever. What's his name? Scrap Dillion. My was in a club one night. And my was like, yo, your folks is up in here with Scrap, like blah, blah, blah. I say, nah, not Kali. Kali ain't cut like that because we gotta understand it. He like, no she out here right now. Okay, I've been hanging out with Scrap. Scrap has been checking on me every day. I had a flat tire, he came to my rescue. I got drunk, he's like, yo, we need to get a room. You cannot drive like this. He's so sweet and kind, taking you to a hotel room. This is funny to you, huh? You don't think that's embarrassing to me? He's actually in jail now. It's not like I could ever be with him. He got 20 years. Listen, I know who Kylie Red was when I first got with her, man. I mean, we've been pretty open. Like, I tell her, you know, I like to check out other little females until we get this thing moving how we want it to be. But she ain't never admitted to me that she deal with other dudes from time to time. But now I'm finding out, like, she running around with this old preschool love romance with a dude that's about to do a twomp in prison. And that's not okay, man. So, you know, I, I blew out here to L.A., you know, just to let the lady know, Miss Kylie Red, how I feel about our situation. I think that a lot of times me and you just say, I know it's a lot of popping and whatever, and I don't want to necessarily give up on this right here. Let me just say it like this, look. When life pulled out the ring, I dropped to the ground. Did he just propose to me? Shh, just listen. I got love for you. And I really see something in you the rest don't see, man. This, I want to say that this is a promise ring. And I promise you that you're not going to never find another like me. You can keep this, but you can't keep me, man. I can't do this, man. this was a proposal ring. So this is a breakup ring. What the f is really going on? How 
what you do that? How would you do that, man? You's a lie, Carly. Just keep it real with yourself, man. You, you so think, you think you're gonna you just think? go on dates and I'm not gonna go on dates? You can do what the f you wanna do. You can do what the you wanna do. You can do, you can do what you wanna do, but you gotta keep it 100. That's all you gotta I do. Did. No, you didn't. You lied this whole time, man. About what? About me and you. I got a ring, good heartedly. But then as I started getting text messages, this dude named Scrap, it just thought in my mind, like, damn, man, is this what you really want for your life? Is she a mother? Some kind of example for your kids, man? No. All I wanna know is can we work this out? I know what I want and I know what I need. In this point in your life, you just want to club and drink no, and do, do the bullshit. Yes, you do. I'm looking for a wife, man. Somebody's well, gonna take care of me and my kids. Me, I will change. But you ain't changing. Take a chance on me. But you ain't changing. You don't know that because you haven't even taken a chance on me. I've been f you for a year and a half. If you was gonna change, you would have changed by then. I never asked life for more than he was ready to give. I never questioned him when he disappeared weeks at a time. I gave him his freedom. I was always available when he wanted it. And now he's throwing it in my face? It's always the same BS. No matter what I do, it's never good enough. I just hope you find what you're looking for, man. That's all. Between working on the lounge and putting on these relationship seminars, and now this event, child, it has been a whirlwind. But I like to be productive, and I'm really happy with the way this event turned out. This is absolutely good. So how's everything been? Everything has been fine. You see, I got Jasmine with me today. I know, and I'm not going to talk about any drama stuff, but I do want to say I heard about the birthday party. Yes. OK, but we ain't going to talk about it today. Okay. But OK, I'm we're going to keep that hush Mm -hmm. And we'll discuss it. Yeah. I'm so glad y'all are together. I ain't seen your age. I need to see your son. Man. Oh, my God. He just turned 13 in February. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, how are you? Nice to see Thank oh, you. Thank you. I wait more Christmas than I do Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I way more credible as a mother than Carly. That's why I was invited to this dinner. But long as Carly stay over there on the other end at her table and keep it cute, that's all with Max. Y'all can sit over there yeah. at that table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll get started in a second. Okay, sweetheart. All right, let's enjoy ourselves yes, we're today. Enjoy ourselves. It's, it's a mother quality daughter time thing. with let's mother get down daughter. Here. All right. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up? This turned out cute. I'm so happy. Yes, it is nice. You like it? Hey, I want to thank all of you guys that came out to the mother and daughter dinner. So I'm going to be going around letting the mothers and the daughters both give dedications to each other. Rashida and Kurt got me hosting these relationship seminars. And now I'm emceeing this mother and daughter event. Damn, the props are keeping me busy. But I am so ecstatic to be doing this. My mother is the absolute <laughs> <laughs> No, for real, like, she plays a major part in my confidence and the way I feel about myself. I just appreciate her for being exactly who she is and just showing us how to be the best we can be. I am truly blessed, truly honored to have an amazing mother. You've taught me how to be strong, and I think that's so important. You might not always agree with my decisions, but you always have my back, and then I love you, and I thank you. Thank you. Greetings all, my name is Najee and I am Pooh's daughter. I like to say that you can measure your success by how successful your children are. Um, just from my accomplishments alone, me finishing college, my master's, getting my DDS, my mom helping me through all of that. Um, <laughs> look, I knew this was gonna happen. I would like to thank my mother for giving me everything that I wanted at the age of 25. And I absolutely love her. And I know my two other sisters would feel the same way. That was so sweet and well performed. This pool lady runs me the wrong way. She always want to talk about her sex life and no one cares. But I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt tonight at this classy event. I'm going to make sure that everything stays appropriate. I came to see Carly and Carly's daughter. Your daughter is beautiful, friend. Tell me your daughter's name. Jasmine. I want you to give a dedication to your mother. So, I love my mom. 
She's very strict on me. She makes sure like I'm doing everything I need to do in life. She wants me on the right track, and I appreciate it for that. So Carly, what is it that you want to tell your amazing daughter that you stay in her ass on? <laughs> you guys don't really get to see my daughter because I, I shelter her. It's been bothering me because my daughter had quit school because she's been teased about some things that's been going on. And, um, baby, you gotta graduate. Don't worry about what these people say. You need to get your ass back in school yesterday. I just wanted to let you know and let everybody else know. I took a lie detector test to prove to my friends and my daughter and my family and, you know, you should kind of to prove that any accusations about me have been wrong. So all the teasing that you've been getting, anything that people say about you is not true at oh, all. Lord, don't worry, friend. Here's my poly best friend. It's OK. Don't worry about it, Carly. It's OK. Don't cry, friend. I believe don't you. Cry. It's OK. I was so hopeful for this event. Shekana and Pooh were able to put their differences to a side and just be kind to each other. And then here goes Carly, who has to reveal a lie detector test. Why here? Why now? I believe you are right. You said you took a lie detector test about what? What, was the what is she talking about? Because we don't understand. is so desperate. I can't believe she took a lie detector test without us around. I don't trust nothing that comes out of your mouth and no paperwork from you, okay? So you can take that lie detector test and stick it up your ass. Wait a minute, we need, y'all need to sit down. I'm gonna no. rip no. you, I'm gonna rip you, bitch. Out of here. You be out of here, I'm a real bitch. spend a lot of time thinking about this moment. Tonight's the night I'm gonna ask Carly Red if she would spend the rest of her life with me. It just comes a time in every man's life that it's time to step it up. This is the woman that I wanna be with. This is the woman that I feel for. When you're with somebody that you really feel like this is it, it's like you're gonna open your emotions and your feelings up. You're gonna take your guards down. Well, here goes everything. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. You look nice. My situation with Zeno has gotten a little bit complicated. I moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for himself. You know, I care about you, and I love you. I know, like, I can be jealous. I know that. And, you know, I know, like, my temper probably flares up because of that. You know, but there's, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you, but you know, that I definitely, definitely, sincerely, you know, felt for you. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts, I wouldn't have did that. I've had this for a while now. What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt that I loved you, I'm trying to say that, does this show any doubt? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm not ready. The first thing she says, I doubt that you love me. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I, I did everything I could to show her that I loved her. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, I couldn't do it. 
I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I've Who does that? Ring. Nah, you f***ed up. But Zeno is a mother ass Who the f*** brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who the f*** does that? You know what? F*** you. You can use me, right? I'm not using you. But you I can't love you. Me. you feel me? Me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. Because if you didn't get with me, you wouldn't be the you are now. That's it. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had her doubts. But in the end, Zeno had his too. Jack and I are finally back on track after some amazing makeup sex and I promise not to be messy. So today, I finally get to see the house he's so excited about. The only bad thing is, Jock's friend Kadia is the one showing us the house. Please act right, Carla. Nope. Thank you. Jock swears nothing's going on between them. Maybe he's telling the truth, but trust, I got my eye on this hoe. Hey, welcome back. What's up, baby? How are y'all? All right. So today we're gonna view a five bedroom, six bath, fully finished basement property. Uh, the property is actually over 7,500 square feet and I'm really excited for you to see it. I think it could be a great fit. All right, let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. Aren't you the driver that drove us to Alabama? Oh. And aren't you the stylist and the tax preparer? Yes, actually I am. I wear a number of professional hats. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put these two women together. But I love the house, and it's Kadia's property, and I'm hoping Carla will be on the best behavior. All right, like I said, we have a grand 12-foot door for your entryway, route iron staircase, with actually a catwalk across the second floor so that you can overlook from upstairs into this great two-story family room. So what do you think so far? Cool. What, what, what's that's the kitchen that way? Yeah, let's proceed this way and go look into the okay. gourmet chef kitchen, which is actually excellent for entertaining, especially if you cook. Call it the keeping area. This is the keeping room right here oh, to your right. <laughs> can we have sex on this mm -hmm. countertop? Yeah, of course we can. Mm -hmm. If that's what you feel like doing. This house seems all right, but I can barely focus because I'm so distracted by this chick. Something just don't feel right. And you know, Carly Red will get to the bottom of things fast. Any questions or concerns at this point? The sound system, did it have like the, the speakers throughout? I didn't see none of it that. It does. If you actually look back this way, it's okay. fully wired. If you don't mind, baby, you know, I'll be liking them. Just move yeah. through. Let me go check okay. the house. And, uh, you know, I'll just be back in a minute. I'll be right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe. Do you have any questions or concerns about yes, the Yes, I have a question. Okay. Are you my man? Have we had sexual relations before? Is that what you're asking? <sighs> Monica Lewinsky, check this out. I'm just asking you, are you my man or not? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I know my man gets around. And so do you. The only person I get around with is your man. So you my man. I absolutely am, every night. Bitch, I'm, a <laughs> I'm doing what a man do. I'm walking through the house. I'm looking at the sound system. I run downstairs. God damn, all hell done broke loose. What the f just happened? What she just told what? me she was f you. So you need to check your hoes. You know what? Are you I told myself. Are you I, made, I made a promise to God that I wasn't gonna tell no lies about I need to know if you a bitch or not. Yes, I'm Carly. I mean, I can't even believe it. I, 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 I just said that. Carly made me so mad, just came out. I ain't no taking that back now. Today I apologize for that. Can you just, can we go? Yeah, bitch, back your bitch Chill. up. Chill out, man. Mother Jock. I knew something was going on between him and this chick. And everybody thinks I'm crazy. Mother check this out. No, you, you out. You bitch, you go be No, 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 no. I got to talk to you about. Really? So, while y'all together, y'all go ahead. Carly. Toodles. I can't, I can't deal with No, that. toodles to you, boo. I can't deal with this, yo. I hope my good tonight. You know what? He can have that overweight speaking with a fake accent tell a tubby if that's what he wants. Cause Carly Red is done. All I need is a ride home. Man, get your ass in the goddamn car and let's you know go, man. Beat that bitch ass all day, every day. Man, shut up, close my goddamn door. <laughs> this may be the dumbest shit I ever did. I really don't know how I thought I was gonna put these two together and not get this type of outcome. Man, what can I say? It could have been a player move, but 
went horribly wrong. You a hoe and she a hoe. Well, why won't you get out Both the car? Both of y'all hoes. Get out the car then. I don't give a Get out the car then. I ain't going nowhere. Get out the mother car. I ain't going nowhere. Get out the car. Are you gonna drive? Get out the car, Paul. I get to the door and I'm like, yo, what you doing? This is the dumbest I ever seen in my life, man. Of all the ridiculous stunts that she could have pulled by far, this top tomorrow. Yo. Crazy red and full of fake. Let her go on by her business. I'm gonna ride with you, man. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Carly Red. Subscribe to VH1's new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel to keep up with me in Atlanta. <laughs>